Don't buy a pass to a sauna. Just do this. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. We're back. Yay! I don't know if this is the best week to come back because I'm a little bit under the weather. I don't know if you could tell by my voice. Also, I'm not really doing a recipe this week. I'm just kind of figuring it out and pretending I know what I'm doing. Actually, I'm not really doing a good job at pretending I know what I'm doing even. I very straightforwardly don't know what I'm doing. So there's that. You've been warned. I'm loaded up on Dayquil, not sponsored. But Dayquil, if you want to sponsor me, I'm mean, like, I'm full of Dayquil right now. So get on that train while you can. What? A lot of things aren't going to make sense that I say. Okay, I thought we'd do some Thanksgiving sweet potato with marshmallow cups. That's the official title. You know how when you do Thanksgiving and then there's like sweet potatoes and sometimes it has marshmallows on top? Well, I thought we'd do that in a cup form and hopefully my idea works. I'm basically taking the recipe for the sweet potatoes and putting it in a pastry cup and hoping that it all pans out. <laughs> We're using pans. Cool. Got one out of the way. Hopefully it works. Let's make this dish. Step one. We're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Did it. Pretty much a pro at that already. We got this. I'm feeling very confident already. Then we're gonna take a large pot and we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in there. Or earth balance. I'm using earth balance. You do you. Okay, once our butter is melted, which it is, we're gonna add two cups of brown sugar and one cup of water. Do it. We'll get a cup first and then do it. Oh, oh, you need to calm down. You need to really calm down. Oh my gosh, my butter is making too much noise. Stop, it's scaring me. Ow, stop, you're hurting me. Everything is hard. One cup. Make sure your brown sugar gets everywhere while you're pouring it into the cup. This is the correct way to do this. Oh good, I'm doing it really good. And one cup of water. Get in there, you. Wow, just loves to make noise. It's a party. Okay, now we're gonna stir this, bring it to a boil, and we're gonna stir it until it thickens, about 10 minutes. Can you handle it? Well, you have to, so, haha, gotcha. All right, it's been 10 minutes. I don't think it's that thick, but it maybe it's not supposed to be. It's like like T-H-I-C-C -C thick, which is a good thick, I think, I think. Anyway, I think it's done, so we're gonna turn it off. Leave that there for a second. I got a little distracted by our next step, which is cutting sweet potatoes. We need about two and a half pounds of sweet potatoes, or yams, if you wanna use the slur. And I don't think you should call them that, though. They don't like being called that. They are very sweet potatoes. We wanna get these babies into little baby-sized bites so that they can fit in our little baby cups and go inside of our baby mouth. So to do that, we're gonna slice our sweet potatoes lengthwise and then lengthwise again, and then into little baby half inches. Got it? Cool, let's potato. <laughs> Did that work? Let me know in the comments, or don't. I don't wanna know. Oh no! Oh, Thanksgiving, come on, get it together. Okay, once our sweet potatoes are all chopped up into little baby pieces, we're gonna put them in a new pot of boiling water that, oh my gosh, has conveniently been boiling here. Oh, wow, that's very convenient. Thank you for doing that. We're gonna boil these for five minutes. Can you handle that? Cause you're gonna have to. I'm getting really good at threatening, I think. Ow, none of that is fun for me. I'm gonna use a utensil here, yeah. Try and slosh me now, you can't do it, fuckers. Thank you. It might take you five minutes to just get the potatoes into the pot, but that's okay. Everybody has their own pace at life. See you in five minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna take these potatoes off of being boiled, and I'm gonna drain them. However, I just found out that they were supposed to be peeled, and that's really unfortunate. That's like a really sad thing that happened. So, I don't know if it matters. It probably does. You should peel them if you're gonna do this. This recipe. I'm gonna peel some of them, maybe. I haven't decided yet. Oh my god, this is hot. Oh my goodness. How do you drain these? They're so hot. Ugh. Wow. Don't buy a pass to a sauna. Just do this. Safety money. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, it kind of just comes off. So basically we're gonna put all these sweet potato bites um, flatly onto a nine by 13 inch buttered pan or dish, whatever you wanna call this. And maybe they're gonna be peeled and maybe not. Maybe I give up on this like in two seconds. Two down, that 70,000 to go. Okay, so I actually did end up going through and peeling each little bite one by one. You can avoid this by just peeling them beforehand, like not like an idiot. Yay! So now we got all of our 
little potato bites. They're very peeled. And we're gonna take the brown sugar syrup mixture and pour it all over these baby potatoes, making sure it covers all of them. Then we're gonna take some thinly sliced and seeded lemons. Lemon, one lemon that has been sliced. Multiple slices, lemons and slices. And we're gonna lay them on top of the sweet potatoes. I'm not sure who came up with that. Next, we're gonna just take our whole thing, our whole pan here, and put it into the oven for 35 minutes or until the potatoes are tender to the fork. Twice while they're in there though, we're gonna spoon syrup mixture over the potatoes to make sure they're nice and syrupy. Got it? Cool, do it. Potato! See you in 35 minutes. Hey, just kidding, I lied. So it's been about 20 minutes. We have 15 minutes left of those potatoes being in the oven. We're gonna roll out our puff pastry sheet. I've never used puff pastry before. I don't know why I got this idea that I could just make up a recipe using it, but I did that with my brain, so we're sticking to it. From what I've read with puff pastry is you roll it out and then you cut it into your desired shape. My desired shape is gonna be squares that can fit into cupcake holder thing. Cool, Dayquil, you're still in there. That's great. My sentences are coming out wonderful. All right, yay. This was supposed to look like maybe. We thawed that out for about 40 minutes. Puff pastry dough, this is like the pre-made puff pastry dough to go in the freezer you thought out for 40 minutes at room temp I thought it for like an hour and a half at refrigerator temp I don't know if that makes a difference we'll find out very quickly I'm sure so rolling this out I don't really know why it needs to be rolled out because it's already flat but that's what it says to do so we doing it we're gonna cut this into 12 squares these are not squares do a better job than me cool good advice you're welcome for that advice okay then we're gonna spray our, our little muffin tin with some non stick cooking spray get yeah, non-stick and then we're gonna hopefully these rectangle squares will fit and make it good and then we'll be happy okay we're back it's been 35 minutes of these potatoes being in here we're gonna take these out are you finished hopefully oh wow okay we're gonna take out these lemons they are done bye thank you for joining okay and these potatoes should be tender to the fork let's see if that makes sense yeah they're tender to the fork nice so then we're gonna take half a cup of pecans chopped pecans and add them into the mix yes all nice and soaked and then I'm just gonna scoop some potatoes and some pecans into a little puff pastry cups um if I were to do this again, I would do half as many and make them bigger. Cause I feel like these won't hold a lot of potatoes, but we'll see if it's even worth doing again. How about that first? This could either be a great idea or a very terrible idea. I have both kinds of ideas. Oh, I forgot. We're gonna up the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get up there. This oven's getting so heated. Ooh, it's getting heated. Now finish filling your cup. Yeah, see, I think cause like the puff pastry came with two sheets. So I would have made six on each sheet. That way it would be bigger puff pastries and would hold more of these potatoes. But guess what? You could never go to the past. You could only go to the future. So we're not even gonna look at the past. Put a little bit of syrup on each one, you know. Pretend I know what's going on. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm gonna take some marshmallows and put a little bit of marshmallows on each one of our cups. I'm using Dandies, which is gelatin-free marshmallows, but you can use whatever you want. I think I'm just gonna put like, like 10 on each. Lacks a lot of marshmallows. Okay, our little baby marshmallows are in our little baby cups now, and we're gonna put it in our baby oven for 15 minutes. I'm sorry, you're not a baby oven, you're a real size oven, but everything else is babies, so many babies. Oh no, this is just gonna continue to fuel pregnancy rumors. I'm not pregnant, I'm not against it, but I'm not it. So I do not identify with being pregnant, and I think it's rude for you to say that I look that. Amen. Cool, see you in 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes now, I'm gonna take these out of the oven. These look insane. Insane. They look crazy. They definitely look like uh, a cupcake form of this Thanksgiving treat. I hope they taste good. They look like they would taste good. Please don't be a trick. Please, please be real. Although if they don't taste good, I feel like it's fine because I totally just made this up and it's like, oh no, I took a risk, you know? Sometimes risks, they don't pay off. They look delicious though, so I'm gonna have somebody taste it or multiple people taste it because we have some guests over right now. So it'll be kind of like a little mini tiny baby Thanksgiving. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's tasty. Check out. 
this shit. Look at this, look at this. Puff pastry and puff marshmallows. Are you delicious? I should touch every single one while I'm sick. Just kidding. All right, let's see if they're tasty. Okay, Terrible. these are our good friends, Chad and B. Go check out their channels, well, Chad, Chad Wild Clay and B Quaint. Um, okay, so guys, we have a Thanksgiving sweet potato marshmallow Ooh. cup. Ooh. I know that Chad likes marshmallows on a sweet potato. You made fun of me last time. I made I fun of him because he put raw marshmallows, not heated at all or cooked, on top of cooked sweet potatoes. Wait, when was this? Was I drunk? <laughs> Probably. Where were you? Yeah. Probably. Oh, you, were, you were there. I don't remember this. Raw marshmallows. Okay, I put the marshmallows on the potato. They melted eventually. They did not melt. They melted. <laughs> So were you there for this memory? Yes, I was there. Anyway, these this, this is the proper way to put marshmallows oh, onto sweet oh, potatoes during Thanksgiving yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So we'll taste. We'll see about that. Let's see if you taste the difference. Yeah, we we'll did see. a Thanksgiving before. No. <laughs> oh, what? This was our Are last Are you drunk barbecue. now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Maybe I'm drunk now. a lot of booze over there. By the way, I didn't receive an intro. That's fine. I mean, well, <laughs> go subscribe. Steve. No, go subscribe to Steve. Thank See, you, buddy. Don't watch his channel because there's no content on there. Hey, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, this is actually bomb. You like it? Yeah. Hell yeah! I was not expecting that from Steve because earlier today he said he did not like the sweet potato dish with the marshmallows. I was trying to get like some clue into how much he would like it by asking him and he said, I don't really like that, but I'm down to try it. I like this. This is whatever this delivery system is this for. This is good, Nikki. Yeah. I do. I like it. Yeah. Yes. It's tasty. Yay. It's tasty. I would try one, but my mouth is so full of Dayquil that I don't know if I can taste anything. Not sponsored. But Dayquil really gets rid of those headaches and cold, you know, cold symptoms, cold and flu-like symptoms. You should buy it. Does it taste like Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Like, I don't, we know. don't really celebrate she Thanksgiving. She doesn't know. <laughs> what is Thanksgiving? She Get out of here. Get out of America. <laughs> even, even, Bye. For Thanksgiving, her mom cooks egg rolls. Yeah. Not that, joking. I mean, we do too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we call it lumpia in, in the Philippines, but um, we also have the white people food. In our house, we don't really have Thanksgiving. I just celebrate Thanksgiving with his family. Oh, so you just make egg rolls and bring and it And then to bring it. it. <laughs> <laughs> in my white trash we're bringing, we take what's ever in the freezer. Sometimes, which is egg rolls. Sometimes, you know, you heat them up and you, you know. Jalapeno poppers. Yeah, you had a nice Thanksgiving. Some egg rolls, eggos. Sometimes. Oh, absolutely, you eggos. Uh, blueberry eggos. Well, these were a huge hit. Make them for Thanksgiving. Also subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And also watch my vlogs from Bali. I just put them up and honestly, it's becoming my favorite format vlogging. Mostly because I bought a drone and you should check out some dank ass, sweet ass drone footage if you're into that. Or even if you're not into that, you could be into that. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. I just tried these PS and they taste like a s'more mixed with Thanksgiving. It's so delicious. It was so good. I came up with this idea. Do you know I came up with this idea? Genius. I came up with this. Every food I ever eat ever again is going in a cup form. Okay, bye.